Hello, hello, and welcome back to City Skylines. This is Carlo, and we have a water issue. I thought, at first, it was limited to this little area here. This is our new industrial complex, but it spreads all the way down here and all the way over here, and it kind of goes a bit everywhere. So we need to find out what's causing that. Oh, we have a serious lack of pumps is what's going on with that. Where's our river and our pumps? There they are. What's going on with these? Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so if we have a look at the river, as you can see, something's gone drastically wrong with the river. I don't know what's gone wrong with the river, but something has gone wrong with it. Because these two were not getting any water for some reason. These four are. <laughs> but for some reason these two weren't. A dry patch went down the river for some reason. Let's hope it's just a little bit of a glitch and it will just sort itself out. Which it seems to be. That patch just seems to be sorting itself out. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, we still need some more pumps, but not as many as we thought we would. <laughs> Let's drop in another two, because, you know, for some reason our residents require water. I've no idea why. Okay, so apparently we still need some industry, but we have a new industry area, which is full up. <laughs> okay, it's full up. Um, and our new industry area could do oh. with some rubbish collection. So let's slap in one of them. Three, we'll give me two of them. One of these. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Over here. The water over there. There it is. Only just. There you go. Before you moan about it, there's your water. Oh, well, you haven't got any water. Why haven't you got any water? Okay, the other guy has. Okay, okay. so that should have a, have a fleet of dustmen out now for this area. Hopefully. And of course, they will probably get on the highway and bugger off over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> because this area seems to have a little bit of a rubbish problem. Although it has one of them just there. So it shouldn't have. But, as I said, they don't generally stay where you put the unit. They bugger off all over the shop. Not enough buyers, yet you're screaming out for more industry. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I paused the recording there to watch this area for a little while and it seems to be backing it up a smidge. So they're having problems getting onto the roundabout. It shouldn't be, and these guys should be giving way and letting them through. <laughs> They don't seem to be doing that. We have set this roundabout up several times. But these guys just seem to think, you know, yeah, we've got right away. We live in London. <laughs> so let's have a look at their other symbols and see what they're saying. Okay, don't pull into the thing, but they're still pulling into the thing. Okay, so they're just being obnoxious. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so we have a lot of problems with not enough buyers. But the traffic is flowing freely. There is a little bit of a clog here. The underground tunnel. But it is flowing. So, let's see what we can do about these bars at the bottom that say we need more industry. Because, of course, we need more industry. That 
let's deal with that. Okay, so we put it in to start with now. We put in the underground exit start. Instead of like, you know, putting it in as an afterthought. Okay, let's finish this off. There we are, our new industry complex is booming. <laughs> it's kicking in like a good one. Obviously this will add to our traffic, which is a problem. But we may give these guys an exit over here. But this is already chocker. We got yes we have got lights down there, so that's good. That's controlling that. Okay, so we haven't got dedicated attorneys along here for some reason. So let's put those in. And everybody behaving as they should. Because without the dedicated turning lanes. Yes, there you go. That's much better. Put them in there as well. There we go. Okay, so that's running relatively smooth. Yeah, put them in there as well. And there. And there. And there. That's everywhere we see a junction. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's fine because these are all one way roads. No, let's see how that's functioning, because that obviously kicks out onto our roundabout. Ah, yes, we didn't get up the roundabout yet again, <laughs> because we've added a new road into it. This traffic is just acting all there. <laughs> it's just 
behaving very badly at this particular roundabout. Okay, well, let that go on with it, because that's filling in nicely. As you saw, I didn't put any factories along this area, so no vehicles should be stopping there. Not that it matters, because it's three lanes one way. So, even if someone does park along there, it's not a problem. Okay, so we've sorted out our shops and our... <laughs> oh gosh, that just knocked me into silence, that big row of traffic. Uh, yeah, we've sorted out our shops and our industry. Uh, we still have a need for shops, apparently, although there are not enough educated workers, apparently, for every other shop that we've come across. And there's a bin problem over here. Ah, that's because that's our... No, it's not. I was going to say that's our new area, but it's not, is it? There is a rubbish problem over there. Why is there a rubbish problem over there? It's... it's all the care. That is an incineration plant. Hmm. Most ood. Oh, and we are a colossal city. We now have helicopter pathways. And I'm guessing helicopter buildings? Yeah, helicopter depot. And a floating calf and a nuclear power plant, which is pretty cool. So Carlo is growing in leaps and bounds. We are up to 50,000, which is why when you do that, it doesn't make a lot of difference. <laughs> oh, look at this. Big row of traffic. Coming down there, going where? Just slowing down for no particular reason. It all seems... Oh. Uh, let's see. You guys are causing issues over here, are you? Okay, we can sort that above it so we can see it properly. Okay, you can go up or straight. You can go straight or down. And you have to go straight. That's it. End of. No walkie-balkiness and messing about. Just there you go. That's sorted that problem out. Oh, pretty dokely. So let's have a look at this one and make sure this yeah, that they're doing exactly the same on that one. Look, like everybody goes everywhere. So let's sort that out. Okay, you can go there and there. You can go there and there. And you can go there. That's it. I don't want anybody in the left lane swerving in across 50 blooming lanes. They're doing it underneath as well. Or what? <laughs> I don't know for what. The drivers in this game, honestly, they're just ridiculous. Okay, yeah. Coming up up there, around there. Going all over the shop. Which is fine, that's what the roundabout's for. Holy cow, this roundabout is a nightmare. You may have to rip that out, redo it, make it bigger. Bigger. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to that in a sec. Let's go check out the other one. Oh, this one's incredibly quiet. Okay, so this is another roundabout that we haven't decorated. So it's ugly, ugly roundabout. So let's do that. There we go, that looks much better. 
Very wet, but much better. <laughs> Oakley Dogley. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's all looking good. Okay, so we seem to be getting a rubbish problem all over the city. Um, how is the rubbish processing? Let's have a look. The rubbish processing is fine. I don't know why there's a big problem with the rubbish. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to add uh, them. And bring it up here. Out of the way. Uh, would like that the other way around. The reason we're putting it the other way around is so that there are two lanes coming out, a lefty and a righty. Right, let's keep that it's dedicated do hickeys and also a giveaway. Because there's not a lot of traffic coming around here, so the bin truck should not have a problem getting out. We are going to put up here. Two of those. And oh, on the other side, one of those. And some water. Because, <laughs> you know, everybody needs water, apparently. Do it. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's then have a fleet of bin trucks on the way out to help clear the city. Because, for some reason, they're not getting about. So we need to like spread those out a bit instead of putting them all in one lump the things like the sewage plant and stuff like that they can all go together but when it comes to rubbish you really need to spread it out speaking of stuff like that we haven't put any postman no one's getting any post oh dear so let's Plop some of those in. Him up there, so he covers a bit extra. There. There. Bit there. Did he cover all of that? Oh, very close. And somewhere up here, I should imagine. Yep. Him on there. There, good, yep, and up this end as well. The road. That right. must be placed on a zonable area. Okay, so the whole city is now green with postal services. Let's stick a sorting office there and a sorting office over here. So that the post can come in and go back out again. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes. The monster agrees. We're all in agreement. Jolly good. Let's see how our train station is doing. Uh, I know. We have had 110 passengers last week. Oh, that is marvellous. We are looking good with our Friday episode. We're already a capital city. And we have taken up, well, let's say two squares. <laughs> really, in reality, it's two squares. And if you take all of that and that bit there, which would slot in the middle of here somewhere, and then that bit there, which would slap on the end of here, and you've got two squares. Maybe two in a smidge. We do like a smidge. <laughs> so, what are we in need of? We are in need of some shops, apparently. And I have noticed, I just looked down and noticed, we are making money! This is good news. I know we don't need it. We have unlimited money, but we are making money. So, we should 
at this point, I mean, we're at 50,000, so no, I didn't want that. Unique buildings, that's the one we're after. Where are the unique buildings? What about what's unique building? Oh, there they are. <laughs> that thing at the top sort of got my attention and I just couldn't take my eyes off it for some reason. Okay, so these are like plazas, so they are not really unique buildings. Uh, requirement for building the space elevator. Okay. okay, so we have things in here that can aid our city no end. Unfortunately, some of them are like this one, where the crime rate has to be over 50%. Now, you can do that by switching off all the police stations. However, <laughs> of course, with a higher crime rate comes everybody moving out. So, we don't really want that. The Grand Mall. We need to construct an airport. Okay, can we construct an airport? We need to be at 75,000 to construct an airport. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. All right, here, park. Uh, colossal order offices. Weekly education expenses at 20 grand. We're nearly there. <laughs> okay, what's this? Uh, water tax office. Construct a water treatment plant. We've got water treatment. we got water treatment plants? Okay, where are they? Oh, so basically you want me to mess up the river in order to get that stupid office thing. There you go. One of those, as requested. No, still not there. <laughs> No. Which one was it? Obviously, if you were playing this game with monies and stuff, then four percent would cripple you in no time but because we have unlimited money I don't know how to look <laughs> 57 grand a week will it 60 grand a week so how long does it have to be like that it has to be like that for 20 weeks well that's just like ill <laughs> we don't really want that but we'll leave it there for now and hopefully that will unlock average sitting health at 20 percent or oh it's at 71 percent so everyone's got to be ill in order to get that one <laughs> build three cemeteries to get the plaza of the dead Transport tower. But well, that wasn't it, was it? This uh let's be cool come up building the top collar. Maintain for twenty weeks. Maintain that. Oh right, that must have been the one where I had to put that in. Okay, so that's oh or no, that was the tax one, wasn't it? That's tax one. Posh more. <laughs> I lose my mind. Education expenses of 20 grand, that's easy enough. We'll just put in a couple more uh, schools and things, which we'll probably have to do anyway. Office zone, now that I do want to do, but not yet. We need to be able to want more industry. 
and we want more industry i will stick in a huge office zone because those are good now, here we go uh, airport visit so production 1000 milliwatts okay so where's the one Building universities, abandoned buildings, that one's up and running. Unemployment rate. Yeah, on oh, no, a visit. Shut 300 city service buildings. Quarters requirement for building the Eden project. Now the Eden project would be good because that actually um cleans the air. Cleans all the pollution up. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was actually looking for. When I go over the footage and do the editing, I'll have a look. That was the most exciting 10 minutes or so of your life. I understand that. <laughs> These idiots on the motorway, look, they all want to go straight over, but they're all slowing down for no reason whatsoever. Because they want to do stupid walky bulky lane changing. But no reason whatsoever. Anywho. <laughs> so, yeah, we can ignore this for a little while. Until our 20 weeks are up. And then we can go back to it and put the tax rate back up. <laughs> Alright, how's the rubbish situation? There's clearing up. It's good. Hey, look at that. And now we have a dead problem. <laughs> Lots of dead people. We have a crematorium there and I thought I put one of those each in. No. Okay, so maybe we need another one of those in there. Well, they're probably just stuck in traffic somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so these guys are complaining because basically they can't sell their goods. There's not enough buyers. However, we have over 50,000 people in the town and they have the ability to get the stuff out. What we may do... I was thinking of putting another one of these for this area so they can get rid of their goods. But problem is <laughs> where to keep the traffic in and out of it you know I could put it here and just have the traffic come in straight back out again but a lot of this traffic would then want to go over there and apparently they use the nearest one so obviously that is the nearest one for these and if I put one over here it's the nearest one for these it might work. Might. Probably not, but it might. <laughs> um, getting a train track over is a doddle. He can just put her off of there and come over here. Let's do that. And there we have it, our new terminal for cargo. And let's hope that the trains actually... Oh, oh. Yes, the trucks are going in there, which means the trains will also go in there. And of course it goes into there and kicks out into this area. Now when they come out of there, they have to do a right, which is good. That is very good, in fact, because then they have to go all the way around here and then go whatever they like. Okay. 
Um, is it worth pretty... Well, we can pretty it up with some rocks and things, because obviously we don't want to put trees in here. <laughs> Let's make it pretty. And there we go. That's looking much better. There we go. It blocks the view of the industrial complex from here. And it looks good. We could have a little bit more here. Let's see what we can find in a smaller rock. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so have we got any other like huge gaps? We got some spaces here, but we might need to put in some more schools. Well, not schools, because this is an industrial complex. Um, we may need to put some more buildings in there, like police, fire, um, chicken wranglers, and all kinds of other stuff. So let's have a look. See what else we got. Uh, everything seems to be running fine. Let's have a look at our farm. Yeah, we expected that to be importing, but it should be also be exporting. Making money. Well, hallelujah. Pulling crops in from outside the city and feeding the animals and flogging the animals, which is good. I mean, obviously we would prefer it if it... finished okay so no don't do that okay that's that gone I think that was our last one of those let's have a look have we got any more of those no we haven't okay so we have no more rubbish tips they're teeing up the place <laughs> Okay, so as we say goodbye to Carlo for another week, I'd like you to think about joining me on one of my other platforms. They're all listed at the bottom of the screen. If you want to leave a comment, let me know what you think of the new branding of the channel with the colourful border and such like. Or if it puts you off, let me know and I will turn it off. Um, yes, Carlo is humming along lovely and I'll see you next week in City Skylines.